Hey guys and welcome back to another Postman tutorial. This is Valentine and this time I'm going to show you some amazing tricks with predefined data sets within request when using Postman. So let's get started. Let's have a look at this very simple request. So let's say you have an API where you can create new customers and with a post request on API slash customers in a JSON format, you can just give the name of a company in that case and APA will uh, create that company for you. Very simple, you can put that in a postman request, you can write some tests for it and you can get started pretty easily. Next, you may be wondering, uh, what should I do if I want to test different names? So not just one company name, but what? Uh, how about if I have a very long company name? Or how about if I have any special characters in that name? Or just have a data set with different values that you want to test for the same API to make that request, send different data, evaluate if the result is still the one expected. And exactly this I'm going to show you in this very short tutorial. Now there are multiple ways on how you can achieve that. Uh, one of them would be to just simply duplicate the request and change the data. So we'll have different requests, but they have just a parameter or a very small part of it that is actually changed. It might be a possibility, but I personally would try to avoid something like that. Another possibility would be to use external data files. They can be used by running the collection using the collection run and they can be used when using Newman to run a collection. You cannot really use them directly when using the Postman interface. Another possibility would be to use pre-request scripts, variables and workflows to achieve that. And exactly this is the topic of today's tutorial. How to use pre-request scripts, variables and workflows to get a data set that you already have and to accomplish running the same request but with different data sets. So let's dive directly into it. I'll be using request bin to create a request just for this example. And I'm gonna go directly in Postman, paste this address. Gonna select a post request and then I'll set the body to create that company. encoding will be JSON. So this is a starting point basically. Now I'm going to use the pre-request script to define a list of known companies that I'm going to use. So let's define another variable called companies. And this will be an array with different values. Great, so far so good. What I would like to do is to take each company and then submit the request. So the first company will be running the request for is Google. So I'm going to take advantage of the shift method to get to the first company. Now this by itself doesn't do anything so it would, so it would make sense to put it in an environment variable. Now since I created an environment variable I can pretty easy use it in my body. Now in the test part, I need to find a way to tell Postman to run the same request again. And for that, I'm going to use the setNextRequest method. And in this case, I'm going to give the exact same address as shown above. So what will Postman do at this point is it will run the first request again, and it will run the request again and again and again. So we need to find a way to sort of figure out how many requests are there still and as well to update that information. So it's obvious that we need to have sort of access to a variable uh, with a number of companies that are still to be added, still to be executed. So switching back to the pre-request script, I'm going to set another environment variable called companies 
and there I'm going to put the current value of the companies. This information I'm going to call once the request is completed. So I'm going to use the environment variable companies. Let me put that in the local variable. And I have to check if companies is defined. So it's possible that the environment variable is for whatever reason not set. And again, and the second one, and I have to check if the length, so if the remaining number of companies is greater than zero. So if there are no companies left, then it doesn't make sense to instruct Postman to do another request. So when the companies are existing and there are still companies left, uh, we're gonna set the next request to the same address. Otherwise in the else block, we are gonna set the next request to null, instructing Postman to, to stop the execution at this point. In the pre-request script, there's still one step that needs to be done because uh, every time the request will be executed, the pre-request script has no idea of what happened before. We need to somehow uh, retrieve the companies in the request script as well. So I'm just gonna copy from the tests, the companies. And first we're gonna try to get it from the environment variable if it's available. And if it's not available, I will just initialize it. Okay, it looks good and that should be it. I'm gonna save this request. I'm gonna create, call it, dust set. Saved here. And just to demonstrate it, I will open the collection runner. I don't have any environments. So I'm gonna have only one iteration. I'm not interested in persisting any variables. So let's run this data set. So if you look inside the request body, we'll see once was sent to Google. The second time Yahoo. The third time Facebook. And the fourth time Amazon. So you can pretty easily play around with it. As you saw, I haven't written any tests or something like that. But uh, since you have access to all the environment variables and everything, uh, it will be pretty easy to get that started as well. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Make sure you check the video description for a link to my online course on Postman and for other resources and tips as well. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it as it helps others discover my channel and keeps me motivated to create other tutorials. If you have any questions or feedback just leave a comment below this video. If you like to keep up to date with all my tutorials, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so that you get a notification next time I upload something. Thanks a lot for listening and see you next time. Bye bye.